At a conference celebrating renowned Basque Nevadan author Robert Laxalt, his grandson Gabriel Urza spoke about the importance of Laxalt's work. Over the years, I have often met people, first generation Basques, but immigrants from many places, who feel like the stories of their families are also immortalized in these books. Robert's writing isn't just about cultures that we leave behind to come to the U.S., but also the sense of estrangement and displacement that children of immigrants often feel. The conference brought together academics from across the Basque diaspora, as well as Laxalt's family and friends. David Rio, a professor of American literature at the University of the Basque Country, helped arrange the event. In the past, there was this sense of, well, those who left the country, in particular those who went to, to America, when they returned to the Basque Country, they were not really considered as natives anymore. They, said they were, in a way, traitors to, to the country, Americanuac, that was the, the term that was used at that time. But that perception changed as people learned more about the lives of American Basques. The Basques had not, didn't know that much about the Basques who immigrated to the United States. But Bob Lexell's books explained all that, and so he became revered in the Basque country as an author who told the Basques in France and Spain and the Basque country really all about their own families who went to America. In a way, they are ambassadors to, to the Basque history, to Basque culture and Basque society, and so they are now regarded with, with honor and, and perspective, definitely. In Sweet Promised Land, Laxalt wrote about his father's return to the Basque country after 40 years. Dominique, had the sheep herder, was always talked about going back to the Basque country where he was born because he was proud of that as Basque are. When he got there, Dominique discovered that that was no longer his home. He hadn't been there in four decades. He realized that he was an American. Rio said Laxalt's perspective as the son of an immigrant gave him unique insight into the old country, which locals eventually came to respect. Well, he's not insight, he's not really a local, but at the same time, he's not just a foreigner. So to me, this is a very interesting and full perspective on the Basque country and also on Basque American experiences. At the conference, Urza shared some of his grandfather's papers he found in a leather satchel stashed in the back of an old truck. It contained an early draft of his book, The Governor's Mansion a semi-autobiographical novel that expressed many of the complicated feelings Laxalt had about his brother Paul's rise to power. And as Davi points out, it's also a novel about loss, about how fulfilling the American dream, making it in politics and in American life, often comes at the cost of our own identities. Um, and I think that nothing would make my grandfather happier than to have these papers that were in the back of his truck uh, here with you all.